Matthias, uh, your character is kind of the everyman in the film in a lot of regards. He's not really like a, a zombie killing badass like everybody else. So what was it like to play the uh, comic relief when you're surrounded by Amari and Dave Batista? <laughs> yeah, uh, so, <laughs> that's a great question. Yeah. Hey, you know, first of all, it's such a compliment that you say you're, you're the comic relief because uh, that was, you know, like the coolest thing ever. This guy is really funny and he could he could he can scream like a woman. He could his scream is like his weapon. He could he can scream like the, like zombies to death, you know. So um, uh, no, that was like um, I was um, uh, yeah. It was it was every day, you know, being surrounded by Omari and Dave. That was fantastic. And even to to use these kind of weirdness of the safe cracker uh, uh, in that fantastic surrounding with these great colleagues. That was fantastic, and it was uh, like fun every day. Amari, your character's bromance with Dieter is a real highlight. Can you speak to why you think those characters got along so well? Yeah, I think, um, great question as well. Thanks for having us again. I, I think when you, you know, I think, you know, we always say the adage goes as such, oil and water don't mix. And so these two can't be um, any more different. And, you know, that, that, is always a great thing to see opposing forces. Um, and of course, Dieter doesn't know he's a force. And so there's that. So you immediately have empathy for for both, I should say. Maybe I haven't answered it like this before, and perhaps you just helped me find uh, this portion of the answer. But there is a built-in innate empathy for both. People feel sorry for Dieter because he's kind of, here he is, he seems like a fish out of water. He doesn't know what he's doing. And now all of a sudden, Dave's character, and of course, Dave being as imposing as he is with the voice that he carries and the talent that um, he brings to the table and instilled or inserted in Scott, then asking, of course, Vanderbilt, hey, I'm not asking, I'm kind of asking, but I'm not asking, you're in charge of this guy. Then all of a sudden you feel equally bad for me. So I think it's the building innate uh, empathy that you feel for both and both having come to the table as far apart from each other as you can possibly be all of a sudden you're rooting for them to get to that point. So you gotta, you know, you always gotta impart the space and the allowance for fans to do the rooting. And during the watching or process of this odd couple becoming, you know, a bro, Mance, but really almost one bro out of two, there becomes that opportunity for the fans to go, I wanna see it. And another person watching going, ah, I don't think they fit. Another person going, no, I, I think they fit. So I think that's probably the reason that innately you kind of go, okay, I want to see them together. And ultimately you do, you see us together. Mateus, your character's the safe cracker and not that you'd actually need to have these skills, but did you do any reading on safe cracking to prepare for the role? I always love hearing about prep work. Oh yeah, that was very easy. There's a, 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 there's a thing called YouTube and I just uh, uh, typed in like, you know, uh, safe cracking uh, champion, yeah, and there and, and to be honest, there, there, there wasn't, there, there is a, ch a safe cracking champion, and he's so fast in cracking safes, just just with his you know fingers and his ear, he, he hears, he has his senses, you know, he hears, he he could hear and feel a feather, on, what's the right word? Like a, it, there's the tumbler, and what is it inside of this? You know, it's a. This th the this the metal mechanism thing I, within the mechanism and on the lock, yeah. and that's so weird. So I prep with that. I was so inspired by this guy, and and he's the champion. And is he? Is he? I never got to ask uh, Matthias this. Is he living? Matthias, is this guy in fact alive? Yeah. Oh yeah, he is living. He's he's still alive, and he's still cracking safes. <laughs> 